Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today's video is a little bit different. It's not a vlog, and normally I'll be doing vlogs, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to bring the old school art videos back to the channel again. So I'm going to do that with Junicorn this month. And this topic came to mind as I was doing Junicorn Day 11. So this is Junicorn Day 11, we'll be doing in this video as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm doing Junicorn in this little sketchbook here, and I think that's a really cute idea, which is one of the tips on how to finish, um, the drawing challenge of the month, even if you're just doing it for a few days, or, you know, keep a tiny sketchbook, or have a sketchbook dedicated to that challenge. Um, I think that is really helpful in a way, so that way you can see all your, um, drawings in one place, and you can have, um, see your drawings at the end of the month and how you progress uh, through those drawings and you can have a small sketchbook you can have it for mermaid i had done it in this sketchbook here um uh, which is all my mermaid drawings and i was going to do judicorn here but it didn't fit right um so i was like you know what this is my child's sketchbook for mermaid and i was like so proud of the drawings so um that number one keep it in a dedicated sketchbook um, number two, which is very important to get you drawing for the day, um, is to have a prompt list ready ahead of time. Um, this is very important if you want to do a prompt list or if you want to just know what you're drawing for that day. You can think ahead or you can like plan your drawing. You can, um, do that uh, as well. So this is tip number two. Have a prompt list. That is very helpful for me. That's how I completed my challenges. And how I, uh, I usually keep the problem list on top of the sketchbook or in the sketchbook so I can see it each day. For Mermaid, this was the problem list. I put these on my Instagram, so if you want to do this challenge, you can go to my Instagram. You have to dig through, but this is the problem list for Mermaid. Uh, this is the problem list for Junicorn, so this is on my problem list. Problem list. You don't have to do a lot of digging, but this is tip two. Tip three, if you have a prompt list, you want to do your prompt list at the beginning of each month. That way you can have, um, come up with your prompt ahead of time and that will be a lot of helpful. Um, you can create your own prompts. You can find prompts on Pinterest. You can find prompts, um, anywhere. But tip number three is to, uh, plan, like what I usually find myself doing, um, I usually sketch and ink the night before um, the prompt list or the prompt for that day. So day 11. So this is day 11. I had sketched and inked the prompt the night before. And then I come to the next day on the exact day of that prompt for day 11. And I color and marker and do whatever I please with it. Um, that way it's ahead of time and I don't feel the pressure to have to complete a whole illustration in that uh, period because it could take, um, quite some time depending how big or how small it is, um, and detailed it is. Like for Mermaid, I was finding that, like it was very helpful and everything. And I was like, oh, I can just, um, you know, tip number, okay, so we're going to go, so we have tip number one, keep a small sketchbook, tip two. We're going to make a prompt list. Tip three, sketch and ink your prompts uh, ahead of time. So that way on that day, you can um, basically, you know, do the prompts. And then tip four, you want to time yourself or you want to uh, spend a certain amount of time on that prompt and think ahead of time and plan, um, you can do thumbnails. Um, you can just do sketching out. Um, I find this prompt very, uh, what's the word, um, a little, not nitty gritty, but like, uh, it's very cumbersome, and I find like, I have an idea, I'm just gonna go with it, and I'm going to do it for that prompt, and I usually go with the flow, um, that's, we, that could be number four, go with the flow, and that can really help you come up with ideas, and what you want to do for that prompt. Um, but it's really tricky in a way, well, it's not really tricky. If you go with the flow, you can just plan, plan to your heart's content, and then just go with the flow after that. 
Um, so I hope you guys enjoy these tips and tricks and everything. Um, just let me know what you think. Um, the most important thing is to have fun. Don't stress. It's okay to miss a day or two. Um, tip number five, you can start the best bet if you want to complete this challenge. So that way you can, you know, plan ahead of time and to start early. You want to start your prompts early. You want to start drawing early. This year for Junicorn, I had started early on May 30th. I'm caught up. I'm, um, you know, caught up and everything. And I missed a day. And I'm like, okay, because I started early. Um, so let's go over the tips one more time. So tip one, um, keep a dedicated sketchbook. Tip two, prompt list. Tip three, go with the flow. Plan your thumbnails, do everything you can think of to help you. Tip four, start early. That's the best bet you want to do. And if you want to complete these challenges and not stress about, tip five, you want to choose a medium um, or an art supply that you want to focus on and want to learn about, like Inktober. Inktober is the best time for that part because it's ink, it's everything ink and um, doesn't matter if it's digital or whatnot. Mermaid is, I usually dedicate that month to markers. Um, Junicorn is more marker feel to it. I was going to do a sketchy feel to my Junicorn and that didn't happen. I just, I, the illustration part of myself, um, with like, I gotta do illustrations. I gotta like, that'll make me happy. That'll make me motivated to finish. So guys, I hope you like these tips and tricks. I hope they help you. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Turn the notification bell on so you won't miss a video. And enjoy this speech draw. I'll give more tips if I can. And then voice over or just enjoy the music. Um, if you have any questions or anything, if you have any tips yourself, um, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure we'll, we have a community here that, you know, um, can be really interesting to hear what your feedback. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below to the notification bell on. So what is the video? And guys, thank you for watching. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So I'm really excited for today's video. A little bit different than what we usually do. And I am going to say, why am I talking to you robotically? I don't know. But anyways, today's video, I want to show you some tips and tricks how you can complete, I can talk again, complete monthly challenges. I'm really excited about them. I have completed Mermaid three years in a row now, and I'm really excited. Like, all this is Mermaid. Like, all this is basically Mermaid. So, um, here's one of the examples of my Mermaid drawings I've done for day two. So here's day two. Um, let me show you the last mermaid drawing I have done. And I was really excited that I finished mermaid. Um, here's the last drawing I done for mermaid. And I just want to show you proof that I have done mermaid. Um, do I have all those drawings and all of that? Um, right now they're in storage. Um, but for now, this is the last drawing of Mermaid, so I just wanted to show you that from this year. Um, if you haven't seen my Mermaid sketchbook tour, that is up on my channel for this year as well, so go check that out. But um, this is Mermaid, it's, I mean, not Mermaid, this is Unicorn, uh, day 11. It's supposed to be Unicorn in a um, Unicorn Land. But I kind of changed the prompt because I've been working on music, um, trying to write a song and everything. So I kind of drew a, a unicorn. Pretty to play the ukulele, so I kind of did it here. Um, so for, I want to go over some tips and tricks how you can um, create monthly challenges or how you can finish them. I haven't really seen a lot of videos how you can complete um, monthly challenges. Um, because they can be really daunting and I'm going to show you my tips and tricks and what I have learned over the years, um, uh, during Mermaid and doing Junicorn and during October. Um, and I will go through each challenge and show you how I completed them and we're going to talk about that as well in the video and we're also going to go over 
some basic tips and tricks that you can apply to your challenges and I'm also thinking of doing another challenge next month of haunted creepy stuff um so I'm doing that with my friend Belinda so that's been really fun too we've been coming up with a lot of ideas for that as well so if you're in for that kind of stuff uh, like I am um don't forget to put the your prompt ideas and everything and the comments down below if you have any ideas and whatnot also i just want to touch up base i've been having really bad nightmares uh lately and i just want to have an input like last night i dreamed i was a jail and that was a really weird dream and it scared me um i never been in jail so if you can come up with reasons of funny reasons that are clean and um just funny reasons why i was in jail for my dream uh just put them in the comments and i'll choose a couple or maybe if they're tied i will choose both of them you guys can fill in the comments or uh, whatnot and i will draw them in the next video or two so if you guys can just leave them down in the comments um maybe we could be interactive together so let's go ahead and talk about some tips and tricks um in the video and i hope you guys enjoyed this little video um so don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below to the vacation bell on so you won't miss the video and let's get started with this video Okay, hey guys, and welcome to this part of the drawing tutorial or whatnot, but this is kind of like a drawing tutorial or something, how you can complete monthly challenges and how you can finish them, feel great about them, um, feel proud of them, and I just want to give you some tips and tricks how you can finish your own monthly challenge, and we went over some in the beginning of the video, so if you made it this far, Thank you so much for watching. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get on with the tips and tricks. How you can send it to the monthly challenges. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, so tip number one. Keep a dedicated sketchbook. That's highly important. Um, you want to keep a dedicated sketchbook. So that way you can have your progress. You can have your uh, mentality and everything. Within that sketchbook. And then you have it in one place. Um, that is tip number one. Tip number two. You want to... Do a prompt list ahead of time. That helps me come to my desk each day and know what I'm drawing without even thinking about it or I'd be like stuck at my desk or um, I don't know what to draw. What am I drawing? Prompt list can really help you. You can come up with your own prompt list. You can find some on Pinterest. I do have several on my Instagram so you can go check those out if you want to do your own monthly challenge. Um, but you want to have your own prompt list ahead of time at the beginning of each month or each challenge. That way it can help you um, think of what you want to do that day. Um, also, tip number three, you want to um, kind of set goals for your challenge. You want to um, think of what you want to do for that challenge, like a specific medium or a specific subject. Uh, like mermaid is all about mermaids and inktober is all about ink. Um, but you want to have a specific goal in mind that you want to practice on, so you want to practice on anatomy. Have each day a prompt and um, what you want to practice on, you can do it that way. Um, so if, you know, in the end you will have series of drawings related to that challenge, I'll be very proud of them. Um, tip number three, uh, if you will, uh, or tip number four I should say. Uh, is you want to sketch ink uh, your drawings ahead of time before that day happens. Um, and then you'll want to come on that day and color them if you plan on coloring them or if you want to do anything with them. Um, that way you won't have to spend all your time in one day or one sitting to do a whole drawing. You can also take breaks. If you feel like you need to take a day off, take a day off. Um, which is leading to my next point. Uh, day no uh, tip number five, you want to um, start early. And what I mean by say it's May 30th. Like, I started doing the on May 30th. And I'm like, I'm caught up. I'm like, doing great about myself. And I'm like, I had a good ball game. And you want to start early? That's go ahead. I'm giving you permission. You don't even need my permission to start early. Just go ahead. Have fun with it. Um, you know, challenges are meant to be fun. And challenges, especially if everyone else is 
uh, housing community or something. But anyway, those are the tips and tricks I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below to the notification bell on to see what video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys.